So if I'm gonna start off a video about my favorite MPC accessories, by the way, I have to mention this one because everybody asked this question, where did I get this ring? And I got it from mpcstuff.com. And another thing that other people ask me about in the comment section is this right here. And it's my MPC 3000 flash drive. Believe it or not, this is a flash drive, but I use it as a desktop ornament so I can decorate the area where I'm making my beats because why not? Everybody's a hipster, right? And just to show proof in the pudding, it does come from mpcstuff.com. I will have it linked in the description box along with other stuff. So if you have any questions, then absolutely hit the description box and I have everything listed there. Some will be affiliate links, but for the most part, they're not affiliate links. So I recommend that you join the channel and support my channel because I have great plans down the line. So yeah, check it out, private discord stuff and all that. Just hit the join button to see what the membership brings. And just like the MPC 3000, I have a MPC 2000 XL that is a flash drive as well as this right here, which is the SP404. And I know these two will be very popular amongst everybody because yeah, they're just really dope. And for desktop ornaments, or if you wanna use them for flash drives for promotional purposes, which that would be pretty expensive, but I believe they're around like 30 to 50 bucks. And yeah. Uh, these do not come from mpcstuff.com. Uh, they come from Drum Broker. Uh, these guys right here, shout out to Drum Broker, by the way. And that is hiphopdrumsamples.com. I bought all my drum kits from there for the most part, if I'm not making my own drum kits. And you know, you already know the vibes. And also shout out to MX6 Audio, because y'all my brothers, you know that. Come on. Pivoting off to another accessory, uh, you might be the type of MPC guy that likes headphones. Uh, shout out to III. They sent these to me and I enjoy these mofos. They are very comfortable. Uh, these are wireless headphones. These are the III TM2 Wireless Plus, but you can use them as regular headphones. So yeah, you can check that out. I'll have a full review about that. If not, you can check out Accurate Beats or Andrew Wang. Shout out to both of you brothers. Uh, you do a great job with your YouTube channels. And then there's this chain right here, which has sentimental value to me. Uh, this B chain, uh, rest in peace, Tony. Whew, I'm not gonna make it into one of those videos, but yeah, uh, they're no longer available as far as I know, but I think that his wife still sells them on ST and then there are a couple of fraudulent people out there that still make these NPC chains. And then as far as like bags go, I have to recommend one bag and this is a guest bag. I know guys, I'm a high value man, ha ha. But yeah, so yeah, this bag is pretty good. It fits the MPC Live 2, it fits the MPC 1, it won't fit the X, what bag will fit the X inside of there. But yeah, this is a pretty cool bag. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, it is pretty expensive, it's about a hundred and something dollars. I think 130 right now. Wake up. I don't want nobody in the comment section saying, I don't see it in the description box or some other crazy stuff. Nah, you know I'm just playing. You know I love you. I love you. Well, if you purchase the best drum sample in the world, then why not have the best portable turntable in the world, which is the Newmark PT-01 Scratch. Mine is modified, by the way. Uh, they have a huge modder community. Shout out to uh, Jesse Dean. Uh, I do have his fader in here. It does come with a fader of his own. It's more of a switch fader. Uh, this one is different. It's more like an inno fader. But yeah, shout out to Scratch Poop, by the way. Uh, this does play 45s or full size 12 vinyl. And it does come with an adapter too as, as well. It is portable, it takes batteries. And yeah, I recommend this probably the most out of them all. But how would you hook this thing up? Well, of course, I gotta talk about wires. First pair of wires that I wanna talk about is these right here, which are the Stereo Interconnect Dual quarter inch in TS to dual RCA uh, that will hook up to the PT-01 Scratch and it will keep it good, nice and clean and you can hook it up to the back of the MPC Live X01. The next thing, if you are into hardware, I recommend that you get a pair of MIDI cables. I will have that also linked in the description box. So get a pair of these and hook them up to your favorite piece of hardware that might not have a USB 
support for it so you can hook it up to the back of the MPC. If you're into making TikTok videos and reels and you're wondering why people have crispier sound than you, then it was probably because they have the IK Multimedia iRig Pro Duo. Uh, this is really good. Uh, it plugs your MPC Live X01 up to your iPhone or your Android phone and you can get crispy audio. I will have a full on review about that. I've used it plenty of times though on my IG. So yeah, check that out in my social media. Another product that I will have a review is in my backlog. I've already done it. And this is my second one of these. As far as audio interfaces, yes, in version 2.10, we can use audio interfaces with the MPC Live X01. And I recommend this one if you are into having a truly vintage sound with your audio. And that is the Universal Audio Volt. Uh, it doesn't matter which one that you get, uh, they are pretty legit. I recommend them and can't wait to see how you feel about that when I drop the video. It goes without saying that if we're staying on the theme of portableness, why not get one of these right here? Uh, this is a MIDI controller. This does not create sounds on its own. You will plug this up in the back of the MPC Live X01 via USB. Uh, these pads are pretty darn quality. I've done a review on these and this key bed has been approved since the previous iterations of this unit. Now let's say you want sound and you want to sacrifice a little bit of the encoders and some of the functionality. Well, you won't sacrifice too much. Uh, you will get the MPK Mini Play Mark III. I've done a full review on that and compared it to the MPK Mini Mark III. It has a speaker and it has its own general MIDI sounds and it's pretty cool. I've cooked up with this a few times. The MPC Live X or One has a lot of hard drive space, but you'll probably run out of space if you're making beats all the time. And I do recommend what's inside of here, but this is a great carrier case that I will have linked to. And I recommend at least 128 gigs of flash memory or SD card for those who refer to it as that. Uh, this is the Stream Pro. I do recommend that you get one terabyte if that's available because even with 128 gigs, all the expansions and all the sample packs that you'll put on your SD card, which I recommend you doing that instead of putting it on the hard drive or your MPC Live X01, it will fill it up very quickly if you're like me, so yeah. If you're not into SD cards, I recommend an external hard drive. This is the Samsung T3. So the T3 has 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. This is external, really good, extremely fast. This is a solid state hard drive. Build quality, very good. This has been through a lot, by the way, and it still works. It's built like a tank. Yeah, I don't recommend you dropping it a whole bunch. This is a solid state hard drive, by the way, and you can do crazy stuff to it. If you're one of the more fortunate people that got the MPC Live or the Live 2 or the X, well, guess what? You can put an internal hard drive inside of there. My MPC Live 2 has one terabyte of memory. Uh, this is also a solid state hard drive by Samsung. It's the Evo series, the 870. Uh, I do recommend it, very high speeds, and you'll be on your way as far as portable production, not worrying about hard drive space. Since I do keep mentioning her, here is my MPC Live 2 Retro Edition. This is my favorite one of the MPCs. And she does get dusty from time to time, so I do recommend getting a dust rag. Uh, this is an Ernie Ball dust rag, and it does its thing. Uh, this is just a very good utility for music equipment altogether. But let's say you want to protect it from getting dusty. Guess what? you can get a deck saver. And I highly recommend the deck saver. I, I know they have one for the MPC one. I don't know if they have one for the X, but for the live two, I enjoy it. And just like what Loop Pop has recommended, uh, putting a rubber band around this and traveling, it, it will be nice and sturdy. But what if you don't like traveling that way? Well, if you wanna travel in style, you can get one of these right here, which is an analog case. And this thing right here is a beauty. Uh, I have done a whole video on that. And as you can see, this thing will get the job done. You'll look like a superhero or somebody extremely important. Might not be your style, depending on where you're from. You might not wanna be recognized, but hey, it goes without saying that analog cases makes one for the MPC one. And here it is right here.